All right, guys, Mr. Vape here with another war wrap-up. <clears throat> it was a pretty tight war. Uh, the other team had us outweighed. All right, let's see here. Going to show you uh, another attack by Gnarl. He's going to have a another Penta, his signature attack once again. He's going to attempt to come in from the left. He's going to try to take out that Archer Queen. Let's say clean up the trash from the sides here. Alright, got the king jumping over. <clears throat> Let's go into the queen. They got a little trouble uh, getting that queen down because that hound was uh, distracting the queen here. Alright. There she goes. Jump spell didn't quite last long enough. Queen goes down. He really doesn't have any choice now. He has to send in the hounds. He's got the rage coming down. More hounds coming in. Balloons coming in the back. There goes the queen. Hounds going on that last air defense over there. The rage down. Balloons coming in. Alright, hounds are going to make their way to the last in the corner. There we go. Comes the balloons. Even though, let's show you how strong this attack is. Even though it didn't quite go the way he wanted um, when he was trying to take out the queen and the, the jump spell kind of expired, he was still able to get the three star. That just shows you how strong this attack is. Uh, all the air defenses are down. There's a few balloons. He's got all the busted pups going around cleaning up. I'm going to speed it up here a little bit. Just following the king around. Take him out. Alright, going to fast forward and just clean up the trash. Such a powerful attack. Last building. Alright. Let's go to the next attack here. Gonna showcase Homer. It's gonna be a shattered Goho. Fast forward the lure here. Alright. Golems have all the point defenses on them. Get the wizard and the king and the queen coming in the back of them. It's kind of unfortunate that the. Uh, the bomb went off and kind of pretty much killed his wizards that were back there for cleanup, but he pretty much took out the front of the point defense. Got to get in there and get them exposed down. Got the hound up there just <laughs> it's flying above it. Alright, here comes the hogs from each side. Two finger drop. It's going to drop the heel probably over there where the AD is, so it gets the middle on both sides. There's one, there's the other. Hogs are making their way up to the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, he's going to drop the last hill, probably right in the center there, in between the uh, blow. There we go. All the hogs are standing in the hill. Two double bombs go off. It's annihilates the hogs. But he had some in the back back there to clean it up. Kind of got lucky in my opinion. He's still a three star. Drops the rage, or the haste I should say, to speed things along here. All right, let's fast forward the cleanup. To me, it was a good call to save some hogs at the back because he knew that a double bombs would be there. A single heal would not save the hogs, so he did have few hogs left over to take out that last air or the last defense at the top. Um, even though he does only have two left, it was still a good call. 
to save them just in case. Because you never know. Speed it up here. Last building. Three star. Okay. Alright. I want to show... If I can get it here. I want to show one of our Town Hall 8s. Two starring. Number one. And the reason why I want to show is because we needed to scout the base who it was in the in the clan castle. And it allowed our Town Hall 9 to kind of, our top Town Hall 9 to kind of bully a little bit. Um, just in case we needed to. Um, pretty good strat. It's just going to unleash all these little, uh, all these little archers on the outside to pick apart. To get a lot of percentage on the outside that's not touchable by defense. Then it's going to send the main kill squad up there by the Town Hall. Um, to try to at least get 51% or so to get the two-star with the Town Hall. Really good strat. We kind of all talked about it in KIK. We really wanted to um, see if we can get this done. It was a big team effort. I was able to pull it off. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit here. He's just going to clean out the outsides. Once the outside buildings go down, uh, he's going to send everything up here in the, on the Town Hall side. Uh, let's see. We just get a little fast forward in here. Alright, it's got a lot of buildings on the outside that wasn't, alright here we go. He had a spot in his base right by the town hall. Uh, he pretty much just dropped his two golems there to, to tank everything. Just dropped all his kill squad up there right by the town hall. Got a few hogs coming in the back while the defenses are turned. The wizard's taking out the town hall here. But the whole idea here was basically to scout the base. Uh, luckily, the Pekka turned too good at the town hall. Um, he, it just, you know, it was a really good, it was a really good attack for a town hall eight. Got the two star there with the fifty percent. That's exactly what we wanted. We just wanted to test the base, basically, or scout it. And that's pretty much it. Get the hound going to come over here and spit on everybody. Alright, two star on that one. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to showcase those. I do want to show one more. I know a lot of people think, you know, or, or say hogs are just dumping hill. I was one of those people. Uh, for some reason, to me, it seems like hogs, just straight hogs, aren't working, uh, especially for a max Town Hall 8. Um, so I decided to go with the Goho here. Uh, another person already attacked this. His hogs end up going down to the double giant bomb right there in between the uh, AD and Wizard Tower there. So what my, my plan was was to drop uh, a mini go wipe squad on the left, take out those bombs, and then send the hogs in from the opposite side. Let's see how it goes here. I get the lure down. Here comes the kill squad. Got the wizards in the back to take out the uh, the dragon while the dragons are on my golem. Here comes the bombers just coming in, to open up the wall. All right, they make it in the de department there. Got the Pekka coming in, going on the outside like always. Alright, you notice how the wizard took out the AD. Now the purpose of that was so the hogs would not path over in that direction. That way, uh, I could send in the hogs without them ha or what I, without having to worry about them path over the double bombs. Send the hogs in from the top. I already knew there was a lot of traps up there. I figured I might as well go ahead and get them out of the way. Um, before the cleanup. A lot of hogs coming down. Got the poison down, taking out the skeletons. Basically, my theory is now because I just it just seems to me like hogs are weaker from the last patch. I don't know why. Maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. But my theory now is to basically bring a kill squad in, like a mini go wipe, 
take out one corner of the base since there's always four corners of bases no matter what what the bases layout is so i only have three hills at the town hall eight so if I, if I bring in three hills and I bring in hogs for one side or for three corners, I'll have hills for all three corners and then my kill squad can clean up the other corner. That way I pretty much don't have to worry about I have the hills. All right, it's clean up time. Uh, again, you know, the hogs, I don't even think they, because uh, I ruined the way the pathing worked on this base, I don't even think they path over any of the, of the giant bombs. Uh, once I took the AD out, the way he had the base laid out, um, Really good attack, you know, it was already scouted or, or already attacked one time, so I kind of knew what to do, but it just goes to show you that you can do it with uh, a mini go wipe set up and then hogs in the back with the three hills. So this has been Mr. Bait for uh, Rejects United. I also want to say that if you if you apply to the clan uh, in game, let us know that you're applying uh, after watching this YouTube channel um, or in you talk to us through global because if not you're probably not going to get accepted unless unless your stats look pretty good all right so just make sure to uh just make sure to mention our youtube channel if you are joining from watching this okay guys and we'll see you in the next war like comment subscribe